An entire section with mannequins decked head to toe, bins and then more bins of all things COVID-19. I was floored. I was just like, this is the medical supplies that our medical community is screening for. That's right. So Canadian Tire is under backlash because they're hoarding medical supplies and selling them for a lot more than what they used to be. FDA approved masks, plastic shields that flip down made by 3M to those who desperately need it. Our healthcare workers. If people have medical grade supplies that we can use in the healthcare system, it's critical that those are donated, given to the healthcare system. And that's what doesn't make any sense to me is that people are actually having their medical supplies confiscated by police. Then there's the price a package of 50 masks for $50. That's a buck each. The nurses union tells us back in February, they were selling for 12 cents. But then there's like all these articles from all around the world saying medical supplies seized from alleged price gouger to be distributed to hospitals. The equipment includes nearly 200,000 N95 masks. So people who bought masks and are upselling them to make money or hoarding them for themselves or having them confiscated, getting ticketed and fined, but yet stores like Canadian Tire are legally allowed to do it. How capitalism works, uh, supply uh, and demand. But in times of uh, a pandemic or health crisis, um, this is the type of behavior that, you know, socially I don't think is very uh, responsible. Supply and demand. But yet if I ended up doing that, I would be like, all my stuff would be confiscated. I'd be charged or fined. Everyone would hate me. But yet stores like Canadian Tire are perfectly fine to do it. What's stopping the authorities from going and confiscating or anybody like myself going in there and confiscating or just taking stuff from Canadian Tire because it's medical supplies and they shouldn't even be selling or up pricing it like it doesn't make any sense to me for now stores are filled with protective overalls goggles and emergency food for seven days canadian tire is certainly selling these goods but are they also sharing yeah so they're selling these goods like crazy they're up charging people making massive amounts of profit and the thing is is like how are they allowed to do this and they say even the thing are they even sharing canadian tire isn't going to be sharing if i go in there and say hey i'm a person in need i need a mask some gloves and some seven days of food supply uh could you supply that to me for free they're gonna be like uh no you gotta pay we're in this to make money not to supply people and to save people's lives Lives and stuff like that because like why else haven't they been like donating it or giving it away or at least like I've been thinking why aren't stores at least lowering their prices or at least almost selling stuff at cost because like that's what stores are even grocery stores toilet paper food even I've noticed food recently has been going up like it's, they're all in the business to make money but yet if I ended up buying bananas and selling them to make a profit I would probably end up being charged as well so like that's just and my stuff would be confiscated so it just doesn't make any sense to me where a store can do it but people can't and it just they you know people have their stuff confiscated and ticketed and fine but a store doesn't it just doesn't make any sense to me let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. Do you think I should go to the Canadian Tire and say, hey, could I get some gloves? Can I get a mask? I'm a person in need. Or do you think they're going to want to charge me? Because, like, yeah, there's no way. And, like, even then, like, what if somebody goes in and, like, takes the stuff and walks out? Are they really going to stop them? Like, it's medical gear. It's, like, protective. It's, like, water. It should be almost like a, a, a right, like, you're, like, air, oxygen you breathe. Like, you should have it. But anyways, that's just my own thoughts and opinions. Let me know your thoughts and opinions. Like this video and click that subscribe button. So thanks for watching everyone. Stay safe. God bless you all and peace out. Snoochie Booches Canadian Tire. Snoochie Booches.